Hey y'all, it's Shannon from Creative Chaos in Tennessee, and today I am back with another off the board with pineapple papers, and today is Technique Tuesday. So, today we're going to do a little bit of a folding technique. Haven't done it before, so we're going to do it together. I am going to use this lovely um, paper pack from close to my heart since I have a lot of it. Um, this is new to me, so I don't know what year this is. 2020 it says. Um, but my maker was selling out um, all her stockpile and I was able to get this and it must have had some bulk uh, sheets in it because I have a lot of paper in here. But I'm glad because I really love this collection. The papers are so pretty. So this is going to be a really easy um, layout that I am doing and um, I already cut my title on my Cricut and it says don't get between a girl and her cheeky nuggies and I hand cut some chicken nuggies from the paper that was in the pack that was brown and I just free handed them they're all weird shapes um and I just inked them up. Um, and let's see. This is a picture of my oldest grand girl, Kaylee. She is seven now. <laughs> but um, she was um, just a baby. But her personality was still shining through. Um, there was a, t a point in time whenever all she would eat was chicken nuggets. And... Um, of course, and hot dogs. And my daughter was so concerned. I'm like, trust me, they go through that phase. She'll get over it eventually. And now the child eats everything. <laughs> Even stuff you wouldn't think, like salad. Like, she's seven and likes salad. I mean, what seven-year-old likes salad? But anyways, I did pull these out. I don't know if I'll use them. But I've been trying to make an effort to use up swap stuff and stickers because stickers I don't really buy anymore. But these are the old sticko stickers that are like old, old, old. <laughs> I've had these for a long time. Um, I actually still have the little binder that they uh, are stored in that you could get. Like once you bought so many packs or whatever, you can mail in coupon things to... Um, get a free binder sticker binder so that's how old they are like really old okay so then i cut i have this piece of cardstock and then i cut this piece down by a quarter of an inch this one i cut down by half an inch you can see that it is not even but it's okay because i'm not a perfectionist um and then i had to cut it down to make it work and it's still i probably should just run my thing down there and just um, cut that a little bit smaller on that side and then it'll be somewhat more but I used this pen I had got on Timu I don't know how well I like it but it just has a little blade in it and um, it's easy to hold on to I don't really have I don't have an exacto knife so I've just been using this or I usually use my scissors I usually just open up my scissors and so, that's probably not the best way to do stuff. <laughs> so, I'm going to pull in this mat. I don't know if you're supposed to cut on this mat or not, but I do. Um, knock on wood, so far I haven't harmed it too bad, if that's the case. Um, I'm going to just cut this out a little bit more. And, I don't know, some people will have these pins and they love them. Um, but I'm not one of those people because, I don't know, I just feel like you can't really get it straight. Like, it doesn't cut very straight. Even when you're trying to direct the blade and hold it correctly. So, maybe it's just because I'm very impatient when it comes to crafts and I like to do things fast. And... I don't know. So it cut through it for the most part. Oh, 
it's all right. Okay, that's somewhat better. Now, pretty much I'm going to, I'm going to just use this as a frame. But before I um, cut out the center, I'll show you the layout that inspired me, if I didn't already say that. And um, I put my picture down where I want it to be. And like I said, I've never done this before, so I'm just guessing how you actually accomplish it. Um, but I did draw little pencil marks around the corner of my photo to show where I want my burst and open paper to be. And I did intentionally pick something that was double-sided so that it'll be pretty once, you know, it is bursting open. So, pretty much, I am going to, since I have these lined up, um, let's see. Trying to see if I had a sheet of paper. Okay. I'm just going to line up these corners so I kind of know where I'm cutting because I get crazy with that <laughs> with that pen. Um, so let's just do this so I'll at least be somewhat close. And you can do this a bigger size, a smaller size. Um, it's really all about what you want to do. Okay, so now that I have that done, I am just going to take my pen and I'm going to just cut down these lines as good as I can. Let's see if it cut through it. All right, yeah, it did. Okay, so... I just got off track. I can already see it. Let's see. That one didn't cut. Okay. Alright. Now it's cut through. Alright. So... Move my mat out of the way. Alright, so now we have our our slits cut. And pretty much what you're going to do is you're just going to fold it back. Now, you could leave this up a little bit and tack it down if you want to give it some dimension. Um... But you don't have to. And I think I'm not going to press mine down and give it a tight fold. Just because I want to leave a little bit of dimension and make it up. I'm just going to press a little bit so that it will stay down for a minute. Because I am going to tack it down. Okay. You can even cut a little bit bigger if you wanted to so that you still have this color uh, showing through behind your picture but then pretty much you're just going to add your picture and it's like it's bursting out isn't that cool okay I like that I think I'm going to ink it and I'm just going to use the same ink that I used already to um, ink the chicken nuggets and it's just ground espresso distress oxide so I'm just gonna do this before I try to glue anything down all right so then we have that my next thing is, I want to add this around, and I'm not going to ink it. I want it to look clean. Um, but I just, like I said, I trim this down to be here just to give it another layer of the pattern um, paper. So I'm going to glue that down before I tack these backwards. This is probably the only side of the paper I don't really care for in the whole collection. It's just not my favorite. 
I'm sure I could use it for something. Or I could just keep using the heart side for everything. <laughs> All right. So, ah. Like I said, it could be pretty to do diamonds, triangles. You could even do circles and um, make little, if you cut them, you could make little flaps on them too. But it would be neat to do a whole page, but only pop up some of them. I might do that in the future. All right, so I'm going to glue this down now. And just kind of try to line it up equally. Press that down. I did get a little bit of ink on my pink, but it's okay. And with it being oxide, if you make a mistake like that, you could wet, barely wet a paper towel. And look how cool it looks already. And um, you could barely wet a paper towel and just rub it. And since it's water reacts with water, it would come right off and you wouldn't even be able to tell the spot. Okay, so... My next thing is going to be adding my picture in. And it'll just slide right down in there. You might not have to bend it a little bit, maneuver it to get it in there in place. But I think this is cute. Since this is the only photo there was, um, it's a good one page photo to focus on okay so then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and tack my um, paper down and I'm just gonna do the edge so that I can leave a little bit of dimension underneath here so I'm just gonna tack the edges I'm just pressing up a little bit to give them a little bit of of play there because I am going to tuck in underneath. This is super cute. It's way better than what I even envisioned. Don't you love when that happens? Okay, I'm going to do this one. You could go even further and cut these in half and make individual um, flaps to like give them more dimension. All kinds of stuff. You could do all kinds of different patterns, cut them at angles, and um, lots of options for this for this technique. I like it. Okay, so then my plan is I am going to put my title on here. So I think I am just going to pop this on foam. And the top part I will probably just add some glue since it's going to be sticking to this. That way this at the bottom kind of levels it all out. Okay. gonna press it down. I can probably stick a piece underneath there to help hold. Okay. There's that. And then I do have um, a journaling card from the Picture My Life cards and I was debating on whether I wanted to use it or not. Um, I don't know. I thought I might tell the little story of how Kaylee only liked to eat um, chicken nuggets and hot dogs. But I might not use it. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. So then I think I want to 
add in my chicken nuggets and I think I will use some of those flowers. Some of these are cut in half so I'll just tuck them under. I was just using up all the little scraps of that paper so that um, I didn't waste any of it. Since it's you can't get it anymore, I'm so sad. Um, I was able to pick up the new uh, Close to My Heart um, collections that Stampin' Up! released, so I was excited about that. And I'm just tucking these around, no rhyme or reason. Um, let's put one there. Should I do one up here? And I could totally do one on foam. do that there and then all these flowers like I said the colors kind of match the collection somewhat well but like I said I want to just use these up and be done with them so let's just add some of these in and these are like the vellum vellum top flowers so they are see-through so I guess you kind of have to be mindful of that. Let's add some of the leaves. Well, if I can get a hold of it. Okay, so I have added the journal spot. I'll journal on that. Added all the, used both sheets of the flowers. Um, I thought about adding some buttons, but I don't know. Just to my little folds here. So that it looks like it's holding it down, even though it's really not. Okay, I think I like it. It kind of gives it more of a, I don't know, babyish feel. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it inspires y'all to try different techniques. Oops, I bumped it. Um, and I bumped it again. But, I will post close-ups at the end. Definitely go and check out what everyone else has done. And, um, until next time, bye y'all.